Hey, Sam Sue's Anthony Rose. Today we're talking about West Coast Swing, one of our favorite dances, but there's a lie that's going around that you've probably said yourself, you've probably heard other people say Don't it, and we're it. clearing that up today. West Coast Swing is not a crazy difficult dance. It is no more difficult than any other dances, but here's the thing. We're gonna clear up why it seems difficult in this video, so stick around. Okay, so if you've ever tried West Coast Swing and it seemed complicated or difficult or more difficult alone. than something else, you're not alone. This is a pretty common misconception. It actually is just as simple as anything that you could do, any other dance you can learn. It just has to be approached in the right way, which is what we're gonna talk about today. We're here to clear the fog. Now, right. if you guys are new to this channel, we post all of the different country dances from two-step to West Coast Swing to waltz. Sometimes we even do some line dances, but you're gonna notice this little button down here and it says subscribe. Now, if you click that button, then you become an ex-dancer and you'll know when all the awesome some stuff happens on the channel, so stick around. All right guys, we're gonna be breaking this down into talking about common misconceptions and then what the real truth is about that misconception. Okay, so one misconception is that West Coast Swing is difficult because it has no basic step. Now it's true that there is no the basic step. Like other dances like Walter Cha Cha has the basic step and things just kind of branch off of that. There is no the basic step of West Coast Swing, but that doesn't make it more difficult. Here's why, there's a basic idea and there's a basic direction and, and like concept, okay? So once you know what the basic concept is or the basic motion, then it doesn't matter if there is a basic step. Here's the basic motion. She starts over there and she goes over there. She has this straight line. She goes from that spot to that spot. Now, once she gets to that spot, she's going back to that spot. My job is to get the heck out of her way to the side. So she is going through this straight line that we call a slot, and my job is to go side to side and ask her to go to that other side in different ways. Now, while these steps that we're dancing are different patterns, she just goes from one side to the other side, and all I'm doing is navigating her and not telling her that she is. She already knows that she is. What I'm doing is telling her how she does that, okay? So once you get the idea of like she goes from here to here and he's gotta get out of her way, then you, you don't need me. the basic step. It's a very, very simple concept. Because another misconception about West Coast Swing is that the rhythm is very difficult. There's a lot going on. There's a syncopated rhythm. The count is normally one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and somehow that makes it more difficult. But you only hear this about West Coast Swing. We never hear that about East Coast Swing. East Coast Swing is such a difficult dance. It has the exact same rhythm. Like Cha Cha has the same rhythm of rock step, triple step, rock step, triple step, which is also contained in West Coast Swing. So you get this triple rhythm and a lot of different things. But why are we only hearing about it in West Coast Swing? The rhythm does have two separate rhythms, but so does East Coast Swing, right? So you can have one, two, triple step, triple step. One, two, triple step, triple step. That is the same rhythm as East Coast Swing. It's exactly the same, right? So what we've got to do, rather than thinking about what are the steps, where do I need to go? Like, what am I doing? Yeah. Like, what is the intention of the thing I'm doing? But you've got to get to the point where that rhythm becomes part of it, where you don't have to think about it. But guess what? It's the same thing in East Coast Swing or in Cha Cha or in other dances as well. The rhythm just has to be more ingrained. Once you get the rhythm for that, you don't have to think about it so much and you can concentrate on other things. So another misconception that supposedly makes West Coast Swing difficult is that her footwork and his footwork are different. Like you don't have parts that match. Like a lot of dances, waltz, if I'm stepping forward, she's probably stepping back. That is totally true. However, let me ask you guys this. When you are taught a basic step in a dance, whatever dance it is, you have to learn your step. You have to learn that step, whether you're learning that step with or without a part, like you gotta know your thing. Huge. Why is it any different just because your partner, uh, your, the rhythm's the same. Mm -hmm. Like you know what the motion is, she goes from there to there and he goes side to side. Like once you get the motion, and you get the basic rhythm, just keep the rhythm. Like here's the thing, you've got a 50-50 shot of being on the right foot the correct foot at any given time. If you're on the right yes, foot, just like, like be on the other foot. I mean, it's really that simple. So it doesn't really matter. And ultimately, and this is more high level thing, it doesn't matter what you feet do. It doesn't matter, it matters where you go. Let me give you an example. So if we could say that my footwork steps out this way and it's not the same as hers, she's going through here and I'm stepping out to the side, 
We have to know the footwork. Yes? No, we don't actually. <laughs> like she has to know where she's going because we could do the same thing and completely ignore what the foot uh, steps are. We could just walk, literally just walk. Walk, 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 walk. She still goes there. You get, at a higher level, you get syncopations, you get people doing all, have you ever watched a really great West Coast swing couple and they got all this stuff going on with their feet? Because it doesn't matter. Like you can be creative and that's one of the awesome things yes. about West Coast swing. It doesn't matter if the leader and the follower's footwork is different, as long as you're going to the place you gotta go to and doing the thing you gotta do. It doesn't really matter. You gotta know your part. Your partner's gotta know their part. It doesn't matter if they're the same part or not, it's silly. Guys, another misconception people have about West Coast Swing being difficult is that you don't have as many points of contact. Meaning most of the time when you're leading or following something, it happens with one hand. Now, other dances, you have hand to hand, hand to shoulder, elbow to elbow, hand to back, and sometimes you even have this diaphragm. So you have these more points of contact in order to communicate with. That's true. You have yep. less places to touch each other appropriately <laughs> in a social setting, all right? Now you're so upset. However, the difference with West Coast Swing and other dances is you don't, as the leader, have to like pull the strings like you're controlling a puppet the entire time. You get to ask her to do things. You don't make her do things. You don't force her to do things. You don't have to caveman style pick her up on your shoulder and carry her around. You ask her to do stuff. And if she has to be, I'm going from here to here, and you ask her to do something, she has to say yes. Sometimes she gets to ask a question and the leader has to say yes, but that's later on. All you have to do is just initiate her motion, okay? You have to start her, sometimes you change her, sometimes you have to stop her. That's called a cycle of action. But all you have to do is start her, and then from that point, you don't have to do anything else for a side pass. You say, it's time to go, and she, would you like to go? And she says, yes, I would love to do that thing. But then you have to, as a leader, allow her to do that. You don't have to like drag her the whole time and pull her over here and then pull her over there. All you've got to do is say, would you like to go? Yes, that would be lovely. I would love to do that. Sometimes you have to change things. So what happens is, is you ask her to go and say, I'd like to change that a little bit. And then you allow her to do it. But watch how this works without that connection. I start her, I change her, I allow her to do that. And that's the key, allowing her to do that rather than making her do that. So it comes down to her responsibility of saying yes, but he has to actually ask and not tell. All right guys, one last misconception that people have about West Coast Swing being very, very difficult is that there's so many things to know. There's so many patterns, there's so many steps. Like if you watch people dancing, and here's the truth though, if you're watching a beginner dancer or you're watching a super, super advanced dancer, they're doing the same stuff. Maybe they're doing it slightly differently. There's not so many things to know. They're just a handful of things to know, okay? So once you know those handful of things, then you just do those things in different ways. For example, side passes, all right? She goes from here to there. She curves around in that second triple step. I get out of her way. Now that's called a left side pass. This is called an underarm pass. Some people call that a right side pass but she's essentially doing the same thing. There's a thousand different ways to do that, but if you watch this, she's essentially just doing the same stuff over and over. I'm just actually, like I said early, asking her to go the other side in different ways. But that's the same pattern. That is just one category of things. So what you've got to know, rather than knowing all that stuff that I just did, the first thing you know is like, side pass, she goes from here to here. And then you learn different ways to do that, right? So there's other categories. So you got like whip patterns where she goes over, and this is the eight count rhythm, and then she goes to the other side. So that's a basic whip, but she can also do like a whip with an underarm turn. She can do an inside whip. These are essentially the same ideas over and over. I'm just leading her to get into that or out of that in a slightly different way. But the concept's the same. So rather than thinking there's all this stuff, there's all these patterns and all these things, like how am I gonna ever wrap my mind around all that stuff? Watch the best dancers. Once you know what the basic core patterns are, it just becomes simple. There's no the basic step, but there are basic steps and different ways to do them, okay? Now this is the way that we teach. We call that the horizontal approach. If you guys want more information on that, go to xdance.com, give you guys a free month, guarantee you, that you're going to all love. The light bulbs. All the Go light bulbs on. will happen. The way that you've thought about this being difficult will completely vanish and go away. You'll get more uh, in a month of understanding West Coast Swing than you would in years, oh, by the way. So, free month. If you don't like it, we'll give you your money back. You're not yeah. paying for it, but we'll give you zero things back. <laughs> okay, so go to xdance.com, try that out. 
All right, guys, our final parting thoughts on this. Now, number one, if you are somebody trying to learn a West Coast Swing and you think, this actually is difficult. Yeah. We get it, oh, all right? Yes. Like we've been there, okay? <laughs> so here's the thing though. I wish when I first started, I wish I would have known then what I know now. The, the awesome thing is, is we're here telling you this stuff so that you don't have to go through the years of thinking this is very, very difficult. Now, if you've tried West Coast Swing, it's been difficult, it's been overwhelming, there's so much to know, and uh, maybe you've taken lessons or learned from a video and it seems overly complicated. We've been there, we get that. But here's the thing to know. If you know one thing, that if you tr uh, had trouble with it, it's not your fault, okay? It's just been approached in the wrong way. It is really, really simple when approached in the right way. Mm -hmm. Now, second thing is, for those of you who are dance teachers, we really want you guys, we wanna build the community. We wanna yes. have more people out dancing, uh, you know, and just Take have more off. people to dance with. It makes everything good. And if you're a dance teacher, like obviously you want more students, like here's the way to it. Stop making it so complicated. Yep. Stop Good. telling people that it's difficult or it's complicated or trying to baffle them with your brilliance, okay? It doesn't really matter. Make it as Confusing. simple as possible. Use words they can understand. Explain it in a way that makes sense to people because it's not Back about you. It's about that student and getting them out on the floor and doing what they came there for. So make it as simple as possible. Stop discouraging people and telling them that they're difficult. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you guys have more thoughts, if you just completely disagree, leave the in a comment section down below. We want to know like how can we do better uh, and make better video with more content for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Guys, I don't know if you noticed this or not, but we already said goodbye to you. Like you're still watching this video, but if you're that looking works. for more stuff to watch, number one, go to this top link right there. That's xdance.com. Get a free month, unlimited learning, completely different than anything you've ever seen before. But if you're looking for another video here on YouTube, that's down there. That's probably a pretty good one too. You could watch that. So see you guys next time.